Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Marathon. My name is Mare, thanks for hanging out today. Please lace up and subscribe. Join the Marathoner family. You might be thinking this looks like a totally normal vlog because I often sit here and eat my breakfast, but this one's a little bit different. So what I'm gonna show you today was actually shot a couple days ago and it was supposed to be the end of a vlog, but I shot way too much that day and the video would have been like a half an hour long. So I decided to use this last portion as a video in and of itself, but it makes no sense if I don't film an intro. <laughs> so this is something that's been on my mind now deeply for the last like little while, but in and out for longer than that. It's something that I've read about a ton and I've noticed in my own world more recently. So I didn't want this clip to just be lost and deleted and forgotten about. So I hope that it resonates with you and that I'd be interested to know how it does, why it does, and if you're able to try and shift your thinking away from this way. And um, leave those comments below. DM me on Instagram. In the Facebook group, there's a link to always below to join the Facebook group. And um, without further ado, here is the, what was supposed to be the end of a vlog, a video of me sitting on my bedroom floor. Thomas is in bed. I just, uh, I don't even know what I just did. I kind of like went through my to-do list, realized some stuff I need to get done, and getting my ducks in a row a bit. I feel good because I've really got a handle on my day-to-day -day in the week and sort of like my schedule. Like when you work for yourself and you work from home, it's really up to you to come up with like what you're gonna do and how you're gonna schedule stuff and I am in a bit of a rhythm now where come like Thursday Friday I have a little more time which is good because like I bought a business school course earlier this year that I really want to hunker down into I have some projects that I want to do and um, yeah so it's just nice to have some extra time so I was kind of just looking over what I need to get done some errands I need to do like that's something I find that's helpful as my day winds down is just go, kind of going through what I did in the day and self high fiving and then looking at what tomorrow's gonna be and mentally preparing myself and you know making Thomas's lunch and all that kind of stuff. But um, I just wanted to leave you with a thought that I had that I just tweeted and I thought, oh, let's talk about it in the vlog. I, well, I'll just read you what I tweeted. In case you're not following me, it's at Redhead Mare. Feel free to. This is something that I have been thinking about recently that has been kind of like, keeps like reoccurring in my life, whether it's a page in my badass, like one day a rip away calendar, or I just finished Kick Ass with Mel Robbins. It's so good. Highly recommend. Um, that's for a different video, sidetracked. Anyway, this is what I tweeted. What if every time you assumed the worst in someone or a situation, you caught yourself and instead led with hope and love? What if you assumed the best, gave someone the benefit of the doubt? If you're always looking for disappointment and negativity, that's what you'll find. And so many people have already commented or DM'd me and it's like, it's resonating with them so hard. And it resonated with me too, for sure. Cause I have people in my life who I'm constantly hurt by, or I'm constantly disappointed. And I realize like going into any interaction with them, that's what I'm like setting myself up for. And that's what I'm expecting. And so if I just go into it with love and like calm and just see how it plays out, chances are it's going to be a better result. Or like, instead of always assuming the worst and assuming that something terrible is gonna happen, just going into it with like love and hope and lightness and being like, let's see what happens. Now, that being said, there have been some people in my life who constantly hurt and disappoint me. And I'm not saying that you should just like be a pushover and roll over and like always just be going at them with love, but it's more of like your own mindset. If you're, for example, tomorrow, you have a meeting 
or you have an appointment or a job interview and you're already going into it thinking like, this is gonna be terrible, this is like gonna be negative, this person doesn't like me, they're out to get me, they're gonna try and like cut me down. I would say like there's a 99% chance that that's gonna happen. But if instead you go into it with like love and light and happiness and like positivity and a calm mind and a calm space, let them surprise you. Like give people the benefit of the doubt. Um, I had this experience, this exact experience this week where I went into a shop asking for a service with a product that I had bought from another store and I was like, oh no, like this is, they're gonna not wanna help me because I didn't buy anything in their store. And so I went in there kind of like with my back up and feeling a little like awkward and well, I had put it off. Anyway, they, I could tell were not happy that I was bringing in a product from someone else, but I just stood there and made pleasant conversation and by the end we were like joking and laughing and I was giving them a good review on Facebook and they didn't even charge me for the service. So I think that's a really good example of like, I went into it expecting that they were gonna be annoyed and I could have left it that way and then it been like a really negative experience but instead I was like no like let's give this person the benefit of the doubt and then it turned into a great interaction I absolutely would go back there and spend my money and it's just like so interesting how much is in our minds how much is in our heads like you know, expecting that your friend is going to disappoint you or hurt you, chances are they're going to, because uh, <laughs> that's what you're looking for. Like, if you're always looking for the negative, you're always looking for someone to be like judging you and out to get you, chances are you're gonna find it or you're gonna make it up in your head enough that you see it all the time. So I encourage you and I challenge you to catch yourself when you're going into a situation and you feel like it's gonna be negative, um, this has been a real like <laughs> work in progress for me, especially since Jeremy died because I was just like always assuming that everyone was seeing me as like sad widow or judging me or like judging my situation and everyone was just like coming at me with love and light and the people who were judging me just get blocked instantly on the, on the interwebs. <laughs> so anyway. I hope that makes sense. I thought that was a good way to end today's video, a challenge for you. And there's already been some great discussion in the Facebook group and on my socials and I'd be interested to see what you have to say down below. Um, again, the caveat is if you're being like mistreated or hurt, like this, that's not what I, this is like, that's not what I'm referring to. But if you have a rough relationship with someone and you're just perpetuating that rough relationship, then there's no way it's ever gonna be like positive or happy or um, improve. But if you try to go at it with a better attitude or mindset, people can surprise you. Highly recommend Kick-Ass by Mel Robbins. She had a really good point in one of the sessions of where she was talking about how like you can love someone but you can still be hurt by them but that doesn't change the fact that you love them you know you have to talk to them and blah 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 anyway paraphrasing highly recommend it's so freaking good so good it's so good it's so good i was very skeptical of it anyway <laughs> that's it thanks for watching please lace up and become a marathon or subscribe to my channel life's not a sprint it's a marathon and in this marathon i encourage you to pause and give people and situations the benefit of the doubt and see where that leads you. And then trust your gut. And if you're always left disappointed or hurt, maybe it's time to enact that, engage that self-worth and, you know, make better choices. As you can tell, I'll be doing a lot of self-discovery and there'll be a lot of videos on these kinds of things, don't worry. Okay, that's a lot of rambling. I would also just like to make a point to say I did not get one speck of dirt on this white sweatshirt today. That is a self high five and a winning moment. So me and my T Swift reputation sweatshirt are gonna go. I'm gonna probably write in my journal, read my book, and I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Please lace up, subscribe. My name's Mare. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.